Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discussing about the problems related to averages. Let's see the first question in this session. See here, the batting average of 20 innings. The batting average in 20 innings of a cricket player is 25 runs. Here, 20 innings batting average is given, which is 25 runs. His highest score exceeds the lowest score by 66 runs. Here, this sentence is very important. According to this sentence, that particular cricket player highest scores exceeds the lowest score by 66 runs. It means that the difference between highest score and lowest score is 66 runs. And after that, if these two innings are excluded, excluded in the sense, if, if at all, highest run score and lowest run score, these two innings are excluded, then the average becomes 24. Then the average is how much? 24. Now the question what he is asking is find the highest score. Find the highest score. We need to find the highest score of uh, that particular person cricket player right here first sentence is according to the sentence the batting average in 20 innings which is given as 25 runs therefore sum of 20 innings sum of 20 innings which is equal to sum is nothing but average into number of innings here the average is given as 25 and the number of innings are 20 which is equal to 25 into 20 that is uh, 500 500 runs sum of 20 innings is equal to 500 runs and uh, one more sentence is second sentence highest uh, score exceeds the lowest score by 66 runs it means that the difference between highest score and lowest score Highest score is H and lowest score is L. Let us consider. As we don't know the values of highest score and lowest score, that is the reason why I have taken like this. H minus L is equal to, according to that sentence, 66. Now, if these two innings are excluded, then the average becomes 24. If at all we are excluding highest runs innings and lowest runs innings then number of innings will be only 18 why because here total number of innings are 20 out of those 20 innings we are excluding highest and lowest runs innings if we are reducing those values we know that sum of 20 innings sum of 20 innings which is given as 500 which we got it as 500 sum of 20 innings now what we are doing we are excluding highest one and excluding lowest one minus h and minus l subtract these two values from total 20 innings sum total 20 innings sum is equal to 500 from this 500 we are reducing highest runs and lowest runs divided by as we know that uh, if we are excluding these two innings, uh, then we are calculating average of only 18 innings, not all 20 innings. Why? Because we are excluding two innings. Therefore, in the denominator, we will be getting only 18. And here he is mentioning that average of those 18 innings value is 24 after excluding highest runs innings and the lowest runs innings and this value this average value is given as 24 now you can do the cross multiplication what you will get is 24 into 18 is equal to 500 minus of h plus l you can common minus over here you will get h plus l now from this you can take a uh, 24 and uh, 18 multiplication if you multiply those two values what you will get 24 into 18 8 4 is a 32 3 is the carry and here it is 16 plus 4 20 20 plus 3 23 and next uh, here it is 2 2 1 is a 2 2 plus 2 4 432 this value is 432 is equal to 500 minus of h plus l now from this uh, 
minus h plus l comes to left side and 432 comes to right side. From this we will get h plus l is equal to 500 minus 432 that is equal to 68. h plus l is equal to 68 and we know that h minus l is equal to 66. h minus l is equal to 66. Now you can solve these two you will get the value of h. Here if you add these two values what you will get h plus h to h which is equal to 120 plus 14 134 134 2h is equal to 134 therefore h is equal to what is the value of h here 134 divided by 2 that is uh, 67 67 that is the answer for this question highest score in that particular 20 innings which is equal to 60 7. Option A is the right answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here, the question is given as average score of Rahul, Manish and Suresh. Here three persons are there. Here three persons, Rahul, Manish and Suresh, which is given as 63. So, from this Rahul, Manish and Suresh, sum of these three members, which is equal to 63 into 3 that is equal to 189. 63 into 3, 189. And Rahul's score is 15 less than Ajay. Rahul's score is 15 less than Ajay. And uh, 10 more than Manish. Rahul is 10 more than Manish. Manish plus 10 and Rahul is equal to Ajay minus 15. Here there is a relation between Ajay and uh, Rahul and Manish and Rahul. And now the information is given as if Ajay scored, Ajay scored 30 marks more than the average score of Rahul, Manish and Suresh. Here Ajay score is 30 more than the average of all those three members. According to the first sentence, average of all those three members which is given as 63. Therefore, Ajay scored 63 plus 30 which is equal to 93. If Ajay is equal to 93, then Rahul becomes 93 minus 15 which is equal to 78. If Rahul is equal to 78, this value is 78. Then Manish will be 78 minus 10 which is equal to 68. Now you got Rahul is equal to 78. Manish is equal to 68. Ajay is equal to 93. Now the question what he is asking is what is the sum of Manish and Suresh scores? Sum of Manish and Suresh. M plus S. Here, as we know that M is equal to 68. M is equal to 68. But we don't know the value of S. So, first uh, you can calculate uh, the value of S just by substituting the values of R and M in this first equation. Here, value of R is equal to 78 plus M is equal to 68 plus Suresh which is equal to 189. Now from this if you add these to what you will get here it is uh, 70 plus 60 130 130 plus 16 uh, 146. Uh, 130 plus 16 146. Uh, this 146 comes to right side therefore Suresh is equal to 189 minus 146 this value becomes uh, 43. Suresh value is equal to 43. Substitute that 43 here. Manish is equal to 68 and Suresh is equal to 43. Therefore, sum of those two is equal to triple 1. M plus S. M plus S is equal to triple 1. Option B is the right answer for this question. In this way, you can solve these kind of problems. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.